Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is The following pedigree describes a rare trait in humans when no evidence points otherwise assume that all individuals marrying into the pedigree are homozygous normal what is the probability that the child shown as question mark will not express the trait There are two ways how we can do our calculations we can find probability for this child to express the trait and we would have least um, steps than if we would calculate probability for this child not to express the trait. And of course if we would know probability for the child to be affected we can easily find probability for the child to be unaffected. So let's find probability first for the child to be affected. Because as we see both parents are um, phenotypically normal that means uh, we have to find probability for them to be heterozygous only if um, both parents would be heterozygous they would have probability to have affected child if one of the parents would be homozygous normal then uh, the child wouldn't express this genetic disorder because this is a recessive genetic disorder so the child have to get a defective allele from both of the parents. So let's now find probability for this parent to be heterozygous. So in this case this parent would be able to pass defective allele to uh, descendants. So if this couple has one child that is uh, affected, so genotype of this child would be small a small a that means that these parents have to be heterozygous so would be phenotypically normal but both would be carriers so what is the probability that this female would be also carrier so if both parents are heterozygous in this case if we build a simple Punnett square we can find probability for the progeny to be also carriers and as you see uh, one child is affected so this child and there are also two out of three variants that uh, this female would be carrier why not 50% because we know for sure that this female doesn't belong to this genotype otherwise uh, her circle would be uh, filled with color just like uh, her sisters so we know that she belongs to this group and her probability to be a carrier or to be heterozygous would be 2 out of 3 so 2 out of 3 probability of this female to be heterozygous. We also told that all the spouses that uh, doesn't belong genetically to this family uh, are not descendants of this um, couple so this male is not genetically related so have to be homozygous normal and if one parent is homozygous normal and another parent is heterozygous once again let's find probability that the progeny would inherit defective allele from mother side but sex of the parent here is not important it can be uh, father side or mother side who is going to be a carrier still we are going to get same results and probability that they would have a child who is going to be a carrier as you see would be 2 out of 4 or 1 half so probability that this couple would pass defective allele to their daughter would be 1 half so uh, combined probability would be 2 thirds multiplied by 1 half that this female also would be heterozygous their daughter and now we have to assume that this male is homozygous 
uh, normal and we know probability for his spouse to be heterozygous which equals to two thoughts multiplied by one half so once again uh, we have found probability uh, for this female to be heterozygous and the same picture one parent is homozygous normal another heterozygous and they have 50 percent probability to pass defective allele to their daughter so we have to multiply by one half and this is going to be probability uh, for their daughter to be heterozygous so all these calculations uh, refers probability of this female to be heterozygous once again two thoughts probability that uh, grandmother of this female would be carrier one half probability that carrier would pass defective allele to her daughter and one half probability that uh, mother of this female would pass also defective allele to her daughter and her daughter would have a genotype capital A small a. Now let's find probability for this male also to be heterozygous and this time we are going to start from here. We see that this couple has affected child that means that both of them have to be carriers and once again probability for this female to be a carrier would be 2 out of 3. So probability for this female to be a carrier would be 2 thirds. And uh, as you remember, we have to assume that all the spouses that marry into the family have to be uh, phenotypically, genotypically normal. So once again, uh, if mother has chances to sort to be heterozygous, her probability to pass this defective allele would be one half. So probability for this male to be um, heterozygous would be two thirds multiplied by one half. And we see more steps here because we started to calculate probability uh, starting from, so this is parent, uh, this is grandparent, great grandparents but here we start doing our calculations from grandparents so that's why we have these steps here and if both parents would be uh, heterozygous probability for them to have affected child so if both parents would be heterozygous probability for them to have an affected child would be one quarter this child is not born yet so any of these variants are possible and probability for the child to be affected would be one out of four so that means we have to multiply by this probability uh, all these probabilities that uh, parent one which is female would be heterozygous by probability that parent two which is male to be also heterozygous and if both parents would be heterozygous probability for them to have affected child would be one quarter so let's now do all the calculations so what do we have here two thirds multiplied by one half would be two six or one third if we reduce numbers and one third multiplied by one half would be one six so we have one six probability here on this side and two thirds multiplied by one half would be two six or one third and multiplied by one quarter probability for the child to be affected so uh, one six multiplied by one third would be one eighteenth and multiplied by one quarter would be 1 out of 72. If you need an answer in percentage form we have to divide uh, 1 by 72 
and decimal number would be 0 0.0138 and if we need an answer in percentage form we have to multiply by 100 and that means we have to move this decimal point to uh, places to the right and the answer would be uh, 1.4% probability for the child of this couple to be affected. That means genotype small a, small a. And as I said, now it is very easy in one step to find probability for this child to be not affected. So from 100% we have to uh, deduct this number 1.4% and that would give us probability for the child to be uh, phenotypically and uh, genotypically normal and probability would be 98.6%. So this is going to be our answer today. So 98.6% probability would be for the child to be homozygous dominant or heterozygous. Both these genotypes means normal phenotype. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.